friends. I'm, I'm Tammy. I'm Gerald. He's my sidekick. That I am. <laughs> you taller than me. Look, I fall down on the couch. I am taller than him. I digress. But we have to take that up with your mom and dad. Look, you're taller than me by hair. Never. Tell I'm taller than you by height. Tammy, nigga. you're so not taller than me. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yeah, that's a problem with you. No, it's a problem with you. Huh? I'm average height for a woman. Listen, average height for a woman is what? Five, five. I'm five, five and a half. <laughs> so what you trying to say? You trying to say I'm five, five? No, I'm saying you're five, four. <laughs> Gerald, if you've never met Gerald in person, he's like Prince's height. <laughs> wow. Okay. But How y'all doing? It's Gerald and Tammy here. We're back. We have some questions to answer. Say something to the people. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, look. Say something to Hi. the people. Hi. Okay, go ahead. Hi. That's all you got to say? You want me to say more? I mean, okay. Hi, guys. So. Maybe we should set our back travel up like Mary Mary, like with our pictures and our awards in the background so it looks like we're doing something. We've been asked. Um, well, no, we're back. We're doing videos, right? They know just, people well, no, are asking. You just cut stuff. me off. Somebody need to ask a question about what do you do when your wife cuts you off when you're talking? You go upside her head. <laughs> now, nah, go ahead. It's yours. Anyway, so you guys know we're back doing videos. Yes. We're going to try to do one every week. Yes. We're going to attempt to do one every week. Yes. He's so busy. Yes. The busiest man doing nothing. When you have a wife him. who you have to. You know, you got to keep her on a leash because she's running around doing whatever she want to do. You're busy. <laughs> anyway, so I got on social media earlier today. And asked some questions. And I told everybody that we were going to be doing a video. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what do you guys want us to talk about? What should uh -huh. we talk about? Uh -huh. So we got a whole bunch of um, questions. So we're going to answer, we're going to attempt to answer. As many as we can. As many as we can our way. Now, this doesn't make it law. It makes it. Our own humble opinion. How we would go about it, what works for us, right? Right. It's just um, like our Why are church girls mostly single? Because they don't. I'll let you answer that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Google asked, and y'all know Google hey, is Google. crazy. Hey, Google. Should men that have experimented with other men sexually be honest God about that no. before entering a new relationship with a woman? Ask that one more time. Basically, if a man has been with another man, should he tell the woman he's starting to date that he's been with a man before? Can I answer that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell right away. The next question is, is oral sex a sin? Definitely not. <laughs> How do you know it's not a sin? Because I'm married. <laughs> if you're married, the bed is under five. Go to work. Come on. And be good at your job. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. I know I'm talking. Am I talking right? You're talking right. You asked. How to trust your mate again after there's been infidelity in the relationship? Wow. First, we have to, do, we have to learn how to forgive. True forgiveness means letting go of everything, dropping it. And treating the person treat as if it never happened. Exactly. She beat me to it. She At least that's what you we know, believe. Are, let me ask you this. Okay. Are we working together like you finish my sentences or are you just, just taking over that my, way. a person? If you walk in true forgiveness, act like it never happened. It's going to be hard. I always tell people it's like the movie. Um, what was the movie I watch? I watch all the time. Um, was it The Best Man or was it, yeah, The Best Man? The wedding when he told his best friend that they, he slept with his fiance. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He slept with his fiance, but he never told her. Even at the altar, he was seeing it he in sure his head. He, never told and he was crying, but he never mentioned it to her because he forgave her and chose to, and move, chose on. to move on. So I think that's the best way to do it. That's, that's it's going to be hard. Now, don't get me wrong. It ain't going to be easy. Like, you just going to be like, oh, I forgive her. Well, I forgive him and it's done. No, it's going to be super hard. But at the end of the day, if you choose to forgive and choose to stay there, hey, work it out and keep it moving. Yeah. Okay, next. How to fall back in love with your spouse. Ooh. You got to choose to. And you got to work on it. I know how to stay in love with my spouse. Mama. Keep them coming. That just felt so like. I don't know. Creepy. So at the end of the day, whatever it is that made you fall in love, I think you should first talk. 
But I think if the I I think I think you should talk first. I think you should talk absolutely. Uh-huh. But I think if the lines of communication are open, it probably won't get to the point where you're saying I'm completely out of love with my spouse. But they said if you, if you say how I fall back in love, that means they fell out of love. I, I, and you're saying communicate, and I'm saying true communicate. But if you communicate from the beginning, you'll catch it before you get to the point. But well, Tammy, uh, we ain't talking about catching them. We talking about they said after it, it didn't, you didn't drop the ball. If the ball is dropped already, how do we pick the ball back up? Am I right or wrong? You're right. Hello. You're right. So let's go from the point of you going from see if you could communicate. That means you ain't fell out of love. They saying well, how do you after you done fell out of love? How you get that thing back? So my thing is. If it's going that far, hopefully the person loves you enough to try to uh, right their wrongs. Uh-huh. But what are we talking about? Are I like we, that. Are we talking about the butterfly, giddy, emotional feeling of what people call love? Right. When you see the person, it's like, like oh, I just, uh, uh, yeah, like I don't think that's love. Then what is? I think love is a choice, like. I don't wake up every day with butterflies. I'm sure you don't wake up every day with butterflies. It's it's days you wake up that you don't want to deal with the person, but you know I'm in this. And so I got to deal with this person. I think love is, is the choice. Love is a choice to stay in it and live life with this person. The butterflies and all that kind of stuff, I think that's like the adrenaline of the new thing. Which is why you have a lot of people that do cheat because they're always looking for that next rush. Does that make sense? That's kind of deep. So if you're trying to fall back in love, you choose to love. And you choose to remember the okay. things that made you want to be with that person in the first place. That's good. And you focus on those and you work through whatever things made you want to go. Because let me, let me tell you something. It's this thing. I don't even know if I told you. It's this thing I call like the rub. I, I think I read it somewhere before when we first got married. But it's like everything they do, everything they say. The way they walk on the floor, the way they sip water, everything irritates the freak out of you. And all relationships get to that rub place. That's true. You know, like... I'm in it right now. She rubbing me. See, he playing. I'm in it for real. He gets on my nerves. But you love me. I love you. But I'm saying that... Just because we're in a funky place, or if you find yourself in a funky place, that doesn't mean that there's no love there. That just means like, okay, like I'm in a weird place, but just like you got in it, you'll come out of it. It's just a choice. You got to choose to move forward. It's really that simple. Choose to love. Choose to love. To continue to love. Uh Uh-huh. And find it. Well, you get butterflies when you see me. I do. Put my suit on. I do. You see me. But my point is that. With my shirt off. It's not, yeah. Huh? Yeah. That excites you still with my shirt off? Absolutely. When I got plumber booty? Plumber? Oh, when you're yeah, bending over this? <laughs> she liked that. Absolutely. Still turn her on. Still. Okay, okay look. Look, look, look. Somebody said, how can you tell if a woman is a liar if she's lying to you? <laughs> <laughs> right. If you done caught her up? Yeah, if you caught her up. More if you than, caught her yeah. once or twice. You know, she like got she a tell, she's telling you, I ain't at, I'm at home, but then you go by there, she's like, oh, I'm in front of your house. Oh, I was asleep, and her car not there, and you know, <laughs> you know whatever. She's, she's got tendencies. She's, she's a liar. Yeah. Oh, the first year of marriage. Hell. Listen. Hot water. Our first year of marriage was terrible. Don't you agree? Yep. He, he... Three months in, he came home and said, let me, let me talk to you for a minute. He took me out on the balcony. You remember? Like, it, was, it was warm. It was a nice day. He had me out on the balcony, and I was sitting in the chair, and he was leaning up against the wall. <laughs> I, said, I was like, this girl. I said, what? And he said, yeah, I don't think this marriage thing is for me. <laughs> listen, I was on that chair. I'm going to jump over that chair. Yeah, listen, I almost <laughs> lost it. But no, I think the first year is just the, the worst. Gerald says, and it might be a lot of men that may not admit to that, but Gerald said, as a man, it was just knowing, like, let me tell him. Go ahead. As a man, <laughs> feeling like it's over. <laughs> like, no more women. I can never talk to another woman again. My black book has to, has to be burnt. I can't 
just tell her bye, see you later, be gone, or I call you when I'm done doing whatever I'm doing. It's gone. It only My life is I know it. It's go right. It only it's only it's, it's only mocha for the rest of my life. It was. It Do you was, like mocha? Was, I love mocha. <laughs> you hear me? If if you're having problems and it's hard, you are so not by yourself. Well, I, it was. I think it was the worst time for us. Would you agree? Yeah, but here we are, 15 years later. Yeah. Um, we have more ups than we had downs. Absolutely. And we're still hanging around. I just ran. Absolutely. Jeez. Temptation within marriage. It's... You're not blind. Definitely not. You're not blind. It's a choice, Dave. Listen, it's like working out. When you're working out, you're you going to see cake over there. You're going to see cake? dope. Yeah. You gonna oh, see... you're talking about literal food. I thought you were talking about something else. When you work out and you're on, on a diet and you're going strong, you look up and there's a donut shop. You oh, just oh, look up and it's there. It's there. And you go, oh my God. Or there's a cake shop. Or they go, whatever your favorite restaurant sprinkles. is. Sprinkles. Sprinkles, cupcakes. Oh my goodness. Everything is there, but at the same time, you choose to say, nope. I'm, not I'm on the right that. path. And I'm going to keep going down this straight and narrow right mm. here. Okay. Maintaining respect in marriage. We just talked about this yesterday. Because she don't respect me. You see, she talk all over me. Go ahead. We just talked Ask about this question. yesterday. Maintaining respect in marriage. Mm -hmm. I think you have to respect your spouse above everything and everybody else. I agree. There's no friend. No. No relationship. No. No sibling. No. No parent. No. No nothing. Nothing. No nothing. And if you know that your spouse is uncomfortable with something. Now, I don't want him to just agree. Let it go. Agree. Uh, don't say it if you just agree. Well, I, I feel like we should talk about it. Like if she say, you know what, you need to uh, 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 so and so. I'm like, well, why? It, it, ain't, it shouldn't just be why. It should be because I said it should go away. But hold on, let's 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 talk here. Is there a reason? If I say I don't, I don't like your friendship with Susie Q. Susie Q and I are not friends. Why? I don't like the fact because I don't know Susie Q. We just no. don't know each other. We just don't know each other. Right. Um. I don't like the fact that Suzy Q has access to you. I want Suzy Q to go away. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. His stance is that. Let's discuss Suzy Q. What has she done? What did she say? Yeah. Did she give you a reason to not like her? Right. He then wants to be able to tell, tell Suzy Q, Q. That's, my wife. That's my, <laughs> the that's my, talking. that's how I feel. Especially if Suzy Q has done nothing but been respectful. Now, if Suzy Q has been disrespectful to my wife, Suzy Q have said some stuff to my Everybody's wife. Everybody's respectful my, until they're disrespectful. disrespectful. Some stuff to my Everybody's wife, respectful my, until they're disrespectful. Everybody's respectful until they're Disrespectful. Agree. But if she was ever that and gave you a reason, I feel like being like cut her at the knees. Okay. But if she was never disrespectful or never done nothing. What to if you, John Doe you... liked calling me? Okay. And he called me and we talked and we laughed and we joked. And uh -huh. You're uncomfortable with John Doe, but John Doe hasn't been disrespectful. No. Nope. He looks amazing. He might he might. He's just He amazing. looked like for real? No. With the hat? No. I thought you said that was sexy. For real, what the hell was sexy? Never said that. Go ahead. Go ahead. He looked like who? Ever someone. said that. Go ahead. And so everything about John Doe is, you know, all right with me. Mm -hmm. But he's just my friend. Mm -hmm. You're uncomfortable with it. Mm -hmm. It should just go away. No. I'm saying, I'm going to tell you, I'm uncomfortable with it. It should go away. And you say, okay. And I'm telling you, you can call him. And tell him, <laughs> I see it. It can. It need to go away. I'm sorry. You know, we've been friends. You ain't disrespecting me. Respecting me. You ain't saying anything crazy. But my husband doesn't like it. So God bless you. I gotta lose your number. I, you can do that in front of my face. <laughs> I'm not, you sit there like, yep, yep. I said it. Yo, I gotta cut you off because she or he don't like it. And at the end of the day, they come first. What well, I feel like my husband don't owe nobody no explanation but me. That's just me. That's true. 
I don't want anybody an explanation, but it is courteous to give it. It's courteous. But That's all I'm saying. Sometimes we can't get what we want. Well, listen, at the end of the day, now, if I call and tell somebody, like, yo, you know, like, you know, we talking for, I ain't got to you. I say, well, we talking for an awful lot. We laugh and joke, but I, I feel like it might be a little too much. You know, let's ease back on this because I don't ever want it to go nowhere. I want to keep our friendship. Okay, that's dead exactly. wrong. Okay, let me stop. That's so cool from a man's perspective. You okay. don't know the deep doodle -doo you just stepped in with that one statement with a woman. What you just said makes me, you said, I don't want it to go anywhere. Which, as a woman, my female ears hear, oh, he feels some kind of way. And you, you might not, feel, yeah, that's what my female that's ears just heard. because every woman in the world is crazy. I'm sorry. I'm I just said telling it. you. Sorry. Women are crazy. My female ears you, just heard. You my, just heard a subliminal like message. Said, you but say, I, I said. Like, for you to say, I feel like we talk too much. And I don't want it to go nowhere. Why, would you, think, to, women, why would you think it would go somewhere? What are you saying? You feeling some kind of way? Like what? I'm telling you how listen, women think. Women are looney tunes. To take that. To take my literal words. And but have a whole other thing. Conversation back here in the back of your head. But why would that be the crazy. words that you choose? Other than you know what? I'm married. We talk too much. And so, you can have a person come ask you, hey, did you used to date Susie Q? And you're going to be like, we used to talk on the phone. And then he'll go to Susie Q and say, yo, did you used to date Gerald? She'll be like, yeah, we used to date. Uh, he my ex. And it was phone conversation. Because women. We see it differently. Women. Listen to what you just said. We just talk on the phone, laugh and joke. Let's say we never, I'm talking about single. Let's say in, in anything, we just talking on the phone, we laughing and joking. We never went out to eat. We never went to the movies. This is what you just said, right? We, all, our, all our conversation was over the phone. Let's say 90% of your relationship was phone. Let's say y'all ate somewhere. Let's say, but I'm saying it was never, a, um, you never said to her, like, we're together. We are in a relationship. But for, oh, because I, I don't see it. But somebody did ask the question before something about how, how, why is it that women cannot differentiate chivalry from thirst? Because women, it's your fault. <laughs> because I can be nice as I want to. Hi, you look beautiful today. Good to see you. All of a sudden, he want me. I just told you you look like, nice today. Jesus. All of a sudden, we we engaged. You tell me who got the problem. Sit and think about it. We have diverted a little bit. No, we've it's telling terrible. this. This is real talk now. Real talk with Gerald and Tammy because this is what I you like need. that. I like that. You like that? Real talk with Gerald. And Tammy. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came up with that <laughs> right off my head. Fun. Thank you for um, watching, and we hope hopefully we didn't let you down. And we'll and, see uh, you next week. No, we gonna see you when we see you. We might see you in the street. We might see sidebar. Uh -huh. We got to be a little careful how we out in these streets. Yeah, that's true. Me and Gerald been out in these streets lately. People are like, Gerald and Tammy had. Brother and sister had. One person was like, brother and sister had. I enjoy your ministry. But he was talking to us from behind. If he had walked up five seconds earlier, I just, he'd have listen, heard us going listen, off. Listen, we was in that grocery store. I'm about to tell her, get your, sit, hurry up. <laughs> and then here goes somebody say, brother and sister had. We, we said, pray the Lord. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> you gotta be careful out here in these streets. You gotta be careful street. out here in these streets. You hear me? <laughs> you get caught up. My goodness. Somebody answer some more questions. Mm -hmm. We answer them all. What do you do when your wife just won't let you have male time? What music is that? I don't know. What happens when your wife won't let you have male time? Yes. What the heck does that mean? Go out with the fellas, and then when she lets you go out with the fellas, if they're not married, then it's a problem. Okay, please let this be known that you are not talking about me. I just, what are you talking about? Okay, because he can go wherever he wants. But please know that he does often use me as an excuse, and he'll tell me, if so-and-so call, and then you, Wow, so you don't give my... You said I couldn't go. What? But then you get with him and talk about me like a dog. Like, yeah, Tammy don't never let me do nothing. I haven't heard about you. I haven't heard. He talks about me like a dog. After he tells me, like, if LaShawn called, you said I can't go. <laughs> She's lying. Today is happening. I hung up on him earlier. She did. Because I called the phone. All right, ring the phone. Let me tell you how I answered the phone and tell me what's the problem. Ring. After she done called 15 times. Liar. Ring. Hello. That is not what you did. Hello. You said, hello. <laughs> And I said, click. Because I didn't like the way he responded. 
after she done called me all day with this, okay? This is this this is a real this is real life truth. You hear me? This is the absolute truth of how our phone conversations go. When she she leave the house, I promise to God, I wish I could get this on video. She'll leave, pull out the garage, open the garage, she'll pull out the garage. She get to the corner. I can count to ten. She called ring. I'm like, here go tag me. I said, hello. She said. The sun is shining today. Uh, it is. I haven't been out yet. Yeah, it's shining. I'm like, cool. You 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 want to get your nails and feet done? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, okay. All right. So enjoy yourself, Tam. All right. Love you. Love you too. She hang up. Three minutes later. Ring. But I just saw on my phone where they said um, it might rain, <laughs> but I don't see a chance. This is so not. This true. is so true. I don't see a chance of it raining, but just in case. My umbrella in the back. Yeah, I'll be fine, man. You sure? You you good? Okay. Cool. All right. She'll be like, all right, bye. And then she'll, she'll, five minutes later, ring. Do you know they got that new McGriddle over there? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I swear okay, to that. But I'll stop calling you. Let's see how you like no, that. No, stop calling. No, I'll find somebody else to call. I'm saying. It's cool. I'm saying. Who want to call me? Who wants to talk to me? Because my husband doesn't want to talk to me. Wow. Wow, so you just gave you just social media. You just threw yourself out there. You just basically you just basically threw yourself to the world. So you kind of went hookerish on him. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just, you just, you just, she just threw herself out to the world. <laughs> the caller with okay, I do call him a lot, but I enjoy talking to him. He's my best friend, and I don't mind it. But sometimes I think she should spread it out. If she's going to be gone for <laughs> <laughs> to give you time talking. to call your. Best friends like Sean. Listen, and we Lisa. can talk. We can't really talk when she's here because the, the, iron sharp. Male iron. conversations have to be the most ignorant conversations. Iron sharpers. Iron. I have ever heard. You fill each other's head up full of stuff that never works on the women that you're like. We're gonna do this to it. Never works. <laughs> That's why they shouldn't be privy to it. Everybody couldn't go in the upper room. It was only twelve, but I decided to keep my few people together, and we have our upper room experience. Listen. We talk. I'm so not editing that out. Cause that was bad. The upper room was full of people. <laughs> the Last Supper. Huh? Joe. No, how was the upper room full of people? Like it was only a handful. Every movie, <laughs> every movie I watch, it's only a handful. Actually, it was less than twelve in there. If you want to harass me, sexually harass me. Who? Sexually harass me. I'll take that. That's the best harassment you can ever do. You can randomly do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. This is going left. Mm -hmm. It's always going left. Because this is Drill and Tammy, and this is what we do. What'd you call it? Drill and Tammy. Real, Real talk. talk with Drill and Tammy. I like that. Hey, so have a great day. Enjoy your day. Do something big. Uh, live. Hmm. Live out loud. Love. 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 Hey, love. How you doing? I love you. See? Alright. Peace. We'll holler at y'all later.